in this, in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, the process that I like to do when finding the discriminants is first, first step, is to make sure your quadratic is set equal to 0, right? Not all these problems are set equal to 0. So I'm, that's up to you guys to fix that. Step number two, label A, label B, and label C. Remember the discriminant is only the values of b squared minus 4 times a times c. So I want to make sure I know what a, b, and c is. Do you guys know how I got those right? Remember quadratic form? Well, actually, I wrote it that down, right? I already did that for you guys. So you guys can look in your notes. OK, so now I just plug in the numbers for a, b, and c. Now when you plug in numbers, one of the biggest mistakes students make is they don't plug in the numbers using parentheses. Make sure you guys put parentheses around the numbers you plugged in for your variables. That will help confuse a lot of issues. So that's negative 5 squared minus 4 times a times c. Do you guys see? Using the parentheses, I, I can see what I plugged in for what. And then also, that tells me, because if you, there's a difference. If you guys plug in your calculator, negative 5 squared, you're going to have a different answer than parentheses negative 5 parentheses squared. Okay, Because your calculator you, does order of operations. So make sure you, you put parentheses. So therefore, you get 25 minus 12 times 2 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12, negative 12, times 2 is negative 24. So it's my, negative 24. So 25 minus 24 is 1. Is 1 a square number? Can you take the square root of 1? You can take the square root of 1. Square root of 1 is 1. I just didn't write it up there because it's basically always a square number. So therefore, in this example, I have two real rational zeros. I'm sorry, solutions. We're not talking about zeros yet. OK? Does that make sense a little bit better?